you can just go ahead and file this one on the things your boyfriend will just never understand. You know, a long wait, alright? I mean, saying face mask and owning 15 pairs of black boots, we are talking facial sparkling water facials. Dunking our heads into a bowl of carbonated mineral water facials, yes, it's a thing. Today's video will discuss why you should wash your face with carbonated water. Before you watch this video, please take a moment. Just subscribe our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button, then tap the bell icon so you will be the first to know when you post new videos daily. Strains are the thumbs, the fizzy face cleansing technique originally from Japan and popularized in Korea claims to be King Miracle Worker, not only purifying it post cleanse but firming it overall appearance. Unlike we tried applying snail smile to our epidermis in the name of beauty experimentation so what's a little sparkling S2O the background some fans in Korea have used carbonated mineral water to treat the skin sometimes it's soaking the face in this water although a statistician may recommend a soaking cotton pads with carbonated mineral water and dabbing them into the skin after cleansing the benefit the reason some statistician love this treatment other than for its simple and timelessness is because the mineral version can help keep the cells between cores and fibers strong, adding overall firmness and plumpness of the skin. The sparkling water is also known to help mechanically wash out the pores without too much harmness because this treatment is known to be compatible with all skin types. A technician can turn to the treatment without being too concerned about irritation or being overly harsh on the skin. Regular sparkling water per face sparkling mineral water. The mineral content mixed with the carbonated water what is supposed to help deliver the benefits beyond that conical sparkling water cleansing the skin. Typically, the ratio of the water mix should be 1 to 1. Also, the mineral water helps dilute the harshness of the freezing in the carbonated water, so it's best to mix the two together. Alternatively, you can use carbonated mineral water but should be mixed with regular water. The idea is to dilute the carbonation to be gentler on the face. The carbonated water face bath. So simple, one part carbonated water and other part mineral water or one part carbonated mineral water and one part regular water all put into a clean the same that you soak your face in after cleansing. Typically, one or twice a week is enough. Some people say that any longer than 10 to 15 seconds is too much for the skin. And other folk will say that they show for as long as they can hold their weight. The idea is that they shouldn't be overdone and should be carefully monitored to see how one's skin reacts in order to find that sweet spot of how long your skin should be soaking for. You have to be in the mood for it because it takes a little bit of work but when you are a lot of fun and it always leaves your skin feeling revived how it feels carbonated water feels a bit warm and some say you can feel the freezing action on the skin it doesn't necessarily hurt but because it does warm up and feel slightly tingly it can feel a bit unfamiliar and uncomfortable who it's best for this is fairly gentle and great for most skin types very sensitive skin types should proceed with some caution and of course moderation is key because of freezing action this shouldn't be done excessively more is not more in this case what do you think of this important information let me know in our comment section below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share with your friends for more daily tips subscribe to our channel below Thank you.